Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hey guys, I just, I really enjoy these videos. They're very calming and just have beautiful scenery. So that's what we're doing right now. My name's Connor. If you're new, original link to the video from Kirsten and Jorg to Germans in Britain. Top of the description as always. Let's get started. All right, you can see a beautiful home right in the beginning there. Hope everyone's doing well. We're spending the weekend in Rockland in the East Midlands to visit some amazing English chocolate box villages. And on our way there, we stopped here at Castle Ashby Gardens in Northamptonshire. It's a great place. We came here about four years ago, fell in love with the orangery. I think you will understand why. And it's a great place to start this video. This is Castle Ashby which is the ancestral home of the seventh Marquess of Northampton. Whoever mowed the lawn, very nice job. Of the seventh Marquess of Northampton. We will be going to the Orangery first because it's so gorgeous. I think this is my favorite Orangery ever. Orangery? It's a beautiful like a... pond, fish and water lilies. And as far as I know, it dates back to 1872. It's absolutely breathtaking. So there's the Orangery right next to it. A very picturesque church. I think it would be so nice to get married here. I'm pretty sure it's possible. So that's a great wedding venue for those who are on the hunt. Orangery? Do they grow oranges or am I thinking wrong? Uh... kept so nice. You need to make some sort of appointment for some of these places, or is it just like a park, like it's just free to walk in when you wish? Oh my God. And of course, Jörg is with me as well. Yeah. Hello. And isn't it lovely today? It's glorious outside. I think we're quite lucky. Yeah. I was going to make a comment that I don't usually, I see a lot of like British outdoors videos and you got some clouds here, but it was a pretty open blue sky. Um, it still is nice, but I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to offend British people. Uh, anyways, sorry. It does seem to rain a lot over there. Smells divine, doesn't it? Mm, 
<laughs> and I think this is a little bit like ours. Yeah. The, the one we have in front of our house. Mm. I think ours is a little bit stronger in colour, but it's beautiful. Yeah, it's nice light, light peach. Yeah. yeah, it smells lovely. They are the most amazing cottages on the estate. Absolutely wonderful. I hope you can see this cottage slash house because it's a very big one and also very similar to the cottages or houses you find in the Cotswolds. When I see giant, nice lawns like this, just a ton of grass, I just want to take my shoes off bare feet and just sprint through it. <laughs> we ordered a little bite or small bite. So what are you having? I'm having a sandwich with bacon, chicken, and mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. This is bacon, a gluten-free like sandwich chicken salad. with tuna and mayo. Two good choices, if I do say so myself. I love brick houses. So we left the gardens and what we did, because we haven't seen that last time or not really, we stopped in the village castle Ashby. Yeah, because it looks very nice to me. It looks absolutely wonderful. So picturesque and really, really peaceful as well. Would yeah. love to they're so calming and like their video, the audio in their video is so great and their video quality. It's, it's like a giant therapy, like how can you not feel relaxed to live here an old sorry I, I, really I feel so bad i cut them off it looks very nice to me it looks absolutely wonderful so picturesque and really really peaceful as well would yeah. love to live here an old english village yes and what we said because the cotswolds are so popular but lots of villages in northamptonshire and brockland are as equally stunning just not as, I don't know, not, not on everybody's radar. No. So we think it's really worth visiting. Yeah, it's a hidden gem. Yes. Look at these houses and there's a lovely rose on the right hand side. I love it. This small village also has an hotel. We just stumbled upon it. It's called the Falcon. Looks really nice. I'm in screen, right, guys? Yeah, sorry. There's a beautiful House. thatched cottage and um, behind it you can see Castle Ashby. It's a private road though, so we can't go there. I love the bird song. Like a, a thatched uh, cottage, but with like uh, that half timber and white, you know, building material on some parts and then a red brick on others and some maybe like vines growing and a nice groomed lawn. Oh my God. Stop. Stop myself. A really lovely tiny place. You can walk around it in about 10 minutes. It takes you a bit longer when you film. Now we're going to Rutland to our hotel, which is called the Barnsdale. And it will take another hour to get there. Am I not thinking of, of are these, uh... Oh, they're probably train tracks. It looks like a Roman style um, aqueduct. What are those things called? What was I going to say? Oh, Rutland. Isn't like Birmingham in Rutland? Or am I thinking of something else? No. It starts with an R. Because I think when I think of Birmingham, I think of very industrious kind of 
no, I'm I'm not. It's not Rutland. It's 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 uh something. I forget. Stay hydrated, guys. Water. to Rutland which is the smallest county in England and we're here in a village called Herringworth really really lovely a beautiful church beautiful houses so we can really recommend stopping here I think this might be the parsonage because it's right next to the church has a beautiful hysteria in front of it look I'm in a Charles Dickens novel This is our place for the night, the Barnsdale Rutland. And we just said how much we love the red rose next to the sign. Okay, there's the reception. Let's check into our room. We just checked into our room and we're actually so lucky that we got a room because we decided to come to Rutland two or three days ago. And I googled and searched the internet like crazy everything was taken so yeah we ended up here at the barnsdale and there's a wedding outside so there are wedding guests and here is our room sorry i've been to way too many weddings i would work like in my late teens and when i'd come back from college as a caterer and weddings were the vast majority of things so I'm done with weddings, okay? I've seen enough. Okay, sorry, I'm getting... All right. Where, where is uh, Bir Birmingham, England County? Uh, oh, West Midlands. Why did I think an R? Okay, sorry. Um, I have way too many tabs. Sorry, yep. So, this is the bed. And let me see, so this is a room next door. We can't go there. Bathroom. Ah, flashbang. This is the bathroom. Is that a window or? Here yeah, went back to the car to get more luggage and <coughs> I'm going to make some tea. So I just had a look. This is actually coffee. Tea is in there. So let's see. I just fancy a black tea. I bet you have as well. It's time for dinner and we booked a table here at yeah. the hotel. Go inside, I'm hungry. Me too, I must admit. Me too. <laughs> I don't have anything that looks too good. I'm hungry myself. So that's your starter, which is a, you have to tell me again, smoked duck. And ham to me. Okay. I've never had duck. And this is, I forgot the name. <laughs> that's a, a pigeon breast. Uh, pigeon breast salad. Yeah, pigeon breast salad. And it looks good. That and looks this amazing. This is a risotto, lemon and pea, or peas. Please. And yours is a rock and trout. Yeah, trout. Yeah.
see, I would prefer her starter by the looks of it, and I would prefer his main dish. Looks really nice. Yeah. Yep. What do you think? Dinner was excellent. It really was, yes. wasn't it? Yes. Guys, really sorry, good. I don't want to I'm gonna go back. So I interrupted him. Why do we call duck duck and chicken chicken, but we call cow meat beef? Why is that? I like eating cows. Sounds a bit weird. Sorry, okay. <laughs> I had to say that or it would never leave my what head. What do you think? Dinner was excellent. It really was, yes. wasn't it? Yes, it was really good. I liked it. Good morning. Good morning. We just checked out of the hotel good and morning. decided to have breakfast here at a place called Hambledon Cafe and Bakery. Yes, and that's because the breakfast wasn't included in the hotel rate. No. <laughs> uh, and so we said, yeah, we take the opportunity. Uh, yes, yeah. And by the way, the hotel was fine, mm -hmm. but it wasn't value for money. No, so we actually, we tried to find a bed and breakfast place, a, a lovely bed and breakfast place, but because we decided to come here like very last minute. Yeah. We couldn't find anything. So that's the place, Hamilton Bakery the taste and goodness of traditional bread. So <laughs> let's find out if that's true. Is that pastrami? While Jörg was in the car, I got him two cheese and onion sc scones. I was going to say mm. scones. They smell scones. divine. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm, really good. And I don't usually like scones, so having like the cheese and onion with it, in it, uh, I bet would be better. This is a sourdough bread. Yeah. I need to see it. <laughs> or, well, I know how it looks. Yeah. Just, yeah. That's a sourdough bread. And. What do you think? Breakfast was really good. And they, they are so friendly yes, in there. Yes, so friendly and it was really tasty. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. had a, um, what was it called? A bacon roll. Bacon roll, yes. And they were so nice and kind. So yeah. we can we can honestly yeah, recommend, recommend it. This place. Yeah. That was bacon? I'm going to go back. I just want to. Now that is bacon. I don't know what I've been eating my whole life, but that looks way better. Yeah. Guys, I also love to see your comments if you've been around here. Well, even if you haven't, I love to see them, but I know a lot of you uh, tend to have been to these places when I watch these uh, types of videos, and I love seeing those comments, so. Absolutely charming and beautiful. All the roses are in bloom and it's like picture perfect. So this used to be a school, but it's now a regular house and it's from 1874, St. Mary's School.
surrounded by gorgeous yew trees. You can see them here, all sorts of shapes. They look incredibly beautiful. And this is Glipsham Yew Tree Avenue. There are 137 yew trees and they are more than 200 years old. This used to be the carriage driveway to Clipsham. They're like as old as the US, Jesus. Years old. This used to be the carriage driveway to Clipsham Hall. It's 700 meters long. And just imagine riding in a carriage wearing a lovely dress. This is breathtaking. And you know what's really great about this place? It's free. You can just come here, have a nice walk, enjoy a picnic. It's definitely one of the less known places. So put it on your list in case you're in the area. So now I'm really curious if everything they've been to is just free to go in. There's just so much greenery, shrubs or, or, you know, nice bushes and trees. Everything is just so green. How are there so many nice giant hedges everywhere? Um, I remember even driving through, it, not just Britain, because I remember driving through France, parts of France, and they're just these beautiful hedges on these nice narrow roads. I mean, you guys get a lot of rain, so I, I guess that explains some of the just greenness, but it just blows my mind every time. Rutland water. Yes, and it's actually one of the largest man-made lakes in Europe. Yes, and it's our first time here. Yeah, that's so funny because we've driven past it a few times, but never stopped. No. And there's a very picturesque church called Normanton Church. Yeah, which we want to explore now. Yeah, it stands on a very narrow peninsula. I think it's very popular with wedding photographers, so we want to have a look. lake this large. Dredge it up and just let it fill up with rainwater? We're in a very picturesque village called Hambleton, which is on the Rutland Water Peninsula. And before we left for Rutland, we created a list with all the villages we wanted to visit, but we can't manage all of them. Look at this beautiful big cottage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's wonderful. The funny thing is, we don't really know if it's new or old, yeah. because you find a lot of houses here that are just, that were just built in that kind of style. Yeah. Because all the walls look like they're new. But although, look at the like the rose and the gate. Yeah. Yeah, that's that awesome. That looks old. That looks old, but the walls of the house look like they've been cleaned. Are those from the same bricks, the wall and the house? That looks old. That looks old, but the walls of the house look like they've been cleaned and... What, what's it called, the cottage? Is it a stone, stone. cottage? Stone cottage, yes. 
really nice. I really like the flowers. Yeah. And the front door is beautiful. The windows look brand new. Yeah. As if they've just been replaced. Let me cut the grass. It would be so amazing if there was a nice lawn. Keep some of it. But a nice lawn with the leading into it and under the, the rose arch and through the gate. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And it also looks like they did a lot of, I think, cleaning of the walls. So what do you think? Is it old or new? I think it's old because look at the roof. Yeah. Because you see that the roof isn't even. Yeah, but that could be old. on purpose. Yeah. And I've just looked at the back and you can see at the back there's an annex mm -hmm. with a real old roof. Right, yeah. Yes, the annex seems to be old and there's a lot of work going on. So someone will have a wonderful house slash cottage one day. Nice. Beautiful. I want to see that house more. Look at all the, the chimneys. house has a beard. The church is open, so we want to have a look, but I don't know the name of the church yet, so it should be here at the entry. I do like trying to find, I remember when I was a kid, I mean, I haven't been in a cemetery in a long time. I always try to find like the oldest the oldest um, birth or death date, uh, oldest uh, headstone. There, I couldn't think of the word. And where I grew up in Barrington, there, I think there was some from 1700s, at least born in the 1700s, which means that, you know, they probably died in the 1800s. But I bet you in England, they'd be way older. Could be way older. I don't know how you feel, but I'm very tired now. Yeah, me too. Relax. We're looking a little bit bedraggled. Yeah. Because, well, we walked a lot, we saw a lot, but we didn't manage to tick all the places that we had on our list. No, no, it was so, simply too much. Yeah, too many villages, but we hope that, well, what we were able to film, we hope that you liked it. Yeah. And thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. So, hope to see you again very soon. And until next time. Bye. Bye. You guys look amazing as always. All right. You, oh, a lot. Such great videos. I'm so relaxed right now. And beautiful. I love these videos. Love you all. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, we appreciate any comments down below. And hopefully I'll see you guys next video. All right. Bye, guys.